Cat. It's Maximus here, this time just with a little safety video about these old all-metal drills. Is sometimes they can kill you, and that has to do with wiring issues where there's a short of the internal wiring. One of the things that should really cause you to test, you should probably test all all-metal tools, but this one had a plug that was replaced with the two-prong, not even polarized, and that's a particularly big issue. And that's really what should set you off. One of the wires in this, this is an old 1940s original Milwaukee hole shooter. Very old one with sleeve bearings. They actually moved the ball bearings in like the late 40s or early 50s on this. But the big issue is if there's some kind of short internally on the wiring, if you have a grounded plug, then that's going to have the body grounded. So if there's some type of short, the worst that will happen is you might get a spark out of the wall outlet and it'll blow a fuse or flip a circuit breaker. But in this case, with the two-prong, you can end up in a bad situation. If we take a look at one side of this prong, we can see no problem. But we test the other side here. Something shorted out into the body. And the reason that's a particularly dangerous issue is the way in specific North American wiring works. North American wiring, when you have an outlet, you have a wide side, ignore this little extra bit, but this is a 20 amp receptacle. But you have a wide side, which is known as the neutral, and then standard house wiring, this and this, which would be both this prong and this, the ground, are known as bonded. They're actually connected together. So technically, you could be missing this prong and have just this one in the ground on North American wiring, your device would still work. This is the hot one. This is actually the wire that's totally isolated in from going from your electrical box all the way to the outlet. It isn't touching anything else. This is really, it's called hot because it's what's really delivering the energy, even though it is an AC system. So the problem with this old drill is if you plug this in one way, then the section that is bonded to ground won't have an issue because now this, what's shorted out is also basically acting as the ground for the body and the tool will work normally. The issue is, and particularly with an old two-prong plug, plug that is not polarized, even though the issue can happen whether or not the plug is polarized if the hot side is shorted out to the body, is if you plug it in the other way, what ends up happening is the hot wire connection now is made the whole tool body live. So now that the body of the tool is live, and this drill still runs just like normal, but now that the whole body is live, all you have to do is touch it to something. So if you're working on something and maybe touch something that's grounded, all of a sudden you have a pathway for power to go from through your hand, through your chest, which is what's the really dangerous part. It isn't just like a spark or tingling or getting a shock in your hand. It's the fact that you're using the drill and you touch something else with your other hand. It power goes through your chest and acts like a defibrillator and can stop your heart. So when you run in these old all-metal tools, always give the power cord a check. And if you see a two-pronged power cord in an all-metal tool, it's not something that's usable. You're going to have to replace it because it can be just such a severe safety hazard. So anyway, that was my short video about uh, how and why an all-metal tool can kill you, particularly with a two-pronged plug. And then just how to use a multimeter to test for the issue. I'm going to make another video about replacing the power cord and diagnosing why it's shorted out. And then I'll do probably a, or in that video, I'll replace the power cord and just do a little review and tear down this old sleeve bearing Milwaukee hole shooter. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Catus Maximus out.